Hey, do you want to know what vice to buy? Are you new at fly tying and want to know what vice to buy? Or have you been around for an hour and you just want to, uh, uh, been tying for a while and you want to know what vice you should get to upgrade? Well, we're going to talk vices and we're going to start right now. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Welcome back, long rodders, to everything fly fishing. And yes, we're going to talk vices. Now, I will show you. Let's get a video up here. How about this one? This is the vice I use. Now, it is a rotation. Ro ro <laughs> sorry. A full 360 rotational device, excuse me, but it's also a C clamp, as you C clamp vice, as you see. That means it needs a table to clamp fast to. And uh, if I would go back in time, I would have bought one that mounts into a table or a, a platform, as I will show you some of them later. Now, I started on this vice. Now this is a great vice. It's like I think twelve bucks. You can get them any tying shop. Where like I always tell you, all these vices will be in our shop, our store. You go check that down below. If you want to upgrade? Including one of my new favorite ones that I'll show you later that I'm gonna buy. But this one here is a cheap. If you're just getting into fly tying, you're not sure if you're gonna stick with it. Definitely go with this as my my pick for the beginning fly tire is this one. If you're just getting started tying, I would buy this vice. It's not rotational, but you're not gonna I hardly use mine. Rotational part of my vice. But this is the one I would get if I was just getting started. Now, there's many things that you want to consider when buying vice. One, how much do you want to spend on one? If you're just getting started, I, like I said, I would choose that other vice. I'd keep it really cheap. Two, do you want a rotational or non-rotational? If you're just getting started, I wouldn't spend a lot of money on a rotational vice. You're not going to use it when you first start tying. And I probably wouldn't use one at all, but... When I make videos, I can swing the fly to you and show you different angles of the fly. So it's really good I wouldn't record without one. Three, do you want a C-clamp? Do you want one that mounts down inside of a uh, piece of wood so the bottom's on? Well, you'll see when I'm showing you this video montage of all the different kinds of vices that you can get. And you can check them all out. And like I always say, you can buy all of them down in the store. So go down there and check that one out. And then when I show you... Here, I'm going to show you the one I want to get, and there's a reason because they make a stone thing. When I go to um, on the third, we're going to the fly show. I'll show you what they are. They're really cool, and the vice, the dart seat clamps will screw down into them. So I want one of them things. I like them, and I like the company. And I talk to the, we'll talk to the guy about them and at the show. So. Here's my pick of which one I would get. See it now, you can see this one here it fits down inside of a platform type thing when it screws down in. So I can use this on that new stone uh, base, which I really like. And it's also rotational. And I paid a hundred bucks for mine. This one is way cheaper. And uh, now let's go look at the rest in the montage. And then when we come back from that, I'll tell you why I'm looking at a new vice and why I'm not staying with my old vice and all that and some more information about it. Hey, 
today, you've seen all the different kind of vices you can buy. You can buy many different kinds. And uh, like I said, you can buy them in a store. If Now look, check it out. If you go to a store and you go on there and you find a vice, just keep shopping. As long as you stay, you're on there with our uh, link, you can buy anything off of Amazon altogether, and we get cash. It helps keep our channel alive. Wow, and seeing this last segment, I almost forgot to tell you why I bought a new vice. The guy told me when I bought my vice five years ago to be careful when putting hooks in and closing the jaws closed, that if you're not careful, you could bend them, and that's what I did. So I can't hold a size 20 in my vice. And I've been using the cheap vise well, that I got for Tracy that's $12 to tie them small flies. So I have to place it so I can use the rotational to tie them small flies. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why. Now you guys didn't notice and I used my vise because when I tie videos and classes for you, I'm used to tying on a size 18, which is they should have been tied in a size 20. Which I go back and tie all them flies I show you in class in a size 20 afterwards but I show them in a size 18 and 12s so that you can see the video better. If I tried doing it on a size 20 you would never, it would be blurry, you wouldn't be able to see nothing, it would be really terrible. So that's why I need to buy a new vise because I bent the jaws and like I said I would also get one that's not a C-clamp. I won't get a C-clamp again. Now back to the talking. So now, I did this video as a very, very good reason I'm doing this video. It's because I would like to do classes on, I will do it on hooks, on thread, everything you need to know about thread. Hooks, materials, I'll even give you a starting material list if you're just starting out. Or you can look at the material list if you've been tying for a while, stuff you might need. I'll just go back on all my videos and build up a material list out of that. And you'd be surprised at how little you need to tie almost every video fly we did in every video. And we'll make a material list for you. And that will be an online training school. Not sure how much to set the price for, but there will be a whole video series that teaches you basically how to tie. And then there will be the beginner course. And then there will be an intermediate course. And then, like the advanced course, where you like doing more realistic-looking flies. Um, I think that everybody could get something out of each of the courses. Um, I'll probably start them. Like I said, um, Tuesday is our probably our last. They might get a video posted Wednesday, and then they're gonna shut us off. You know all about that and the GoFundMe list. Think below and more. So I don't even tell you that about that anymore. But. We're going to sell, when we come back, if we do get turned off, um, I will spend that time making courses. And I'm going to start working on them, I think, probably today. Um, I think I'm going to put, I think, I'm not sure yet. I might put the, uh, and uh, by the way, um, I'm expecting money in my bank account any day now, and that would save us. So that might not happen at all. But we're going to continue bringing you a video every day. Um, I think today and tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to start another fly series. I might. I might start the uh, Quill Gordon. Because that's early spring too. Um, after the, the water stays warm for so many days. But anyway, that's a whole different story. So look forward to them videos. And tell me what you think about us doing an online courses. And uh, you can buy it and up uh, you know there's a lot of people on here that don't quite understand all the lingo we do talk about we talk about thorax abdomen wing cases and all that and that will teach you all that the parts of a fly um patterns and the hall the different kinds of wings from duck wings to wood duck how to do them how to do a better we'll show better uh videos on how to do a figure eight and all these more advanced learning than what you've been learning from me on this channel and I'm glad to bring that to you and then there's another one since Patreon went to uh, I mean a lot of people still use it I just had a lot of problems putting videos on the court on the platform and I, heck, I couldn't even write messages to you guys on that platform but we found another one 
that we're going to be adding. I'm going to be working on that site today. So look for that coming up. That is going to be cool. That's a whole different way. It still gives you rewards, but it's a whole different kind of rewards you get. And it's really cool, and I'm really excited to bring that to you. So look forward to that. We got a lot coming. Remember, we got Cabin Fever on the 17th at the at uh, Mifflinburg High School. We got 24th, we got the Buffalo Valley Sportsman's uh, Fly Tying Meet. And then on the 3rd, we have the uh, Fly Tying thing at Lancaster. So we got a lot coming up. Uh, my camera, I think, is going to be here on the 28th or 29th, right in time for Lancaster. I don't see it getting here any time before that. So, wait till you see this thing. Wait till you see the videos we can capture with this thing. You're going to love our our quality of our videos, our, our improvement, and the shots we can get. So, all that's happening. Uh, by the way, today is, what, the 12th. So... By, even if we go down on Wednesday, we will be only down 26. That will get paid. Same day my camera, well, two days before my camera gets here, that should be paid. 26th, 27th, and it'll be here. So, there you have it. So, the way it will be shut down for a week, but it should give me, if it does, um, get turned off because nobody else wants to help keep it live. Or, whatever, I will do that courses. I'll be working on that, and then, and pre-uploading video, uh, pre-do uh, videos, so that way, um, when I go back to work, I want to start putting like four or five, do four or five videos in advance. That way, when I go back to work, I just post it on the day I go to work when I get home from work, and that'll keep keep our everyday fly tying videos. And I guess on the weekends, I'll just have to bundle up on four or five videos so that you have them all week. We're going to try and go as many days as we can in a row. So thank you for watching this video. And keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.